Welcome once again to our video daily devotions, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for tuning in. Our scripture for our meditation today is the introit for St. Simon and St. Jude Day, Apostles of our Lord, and we'll be celebrating that tomorrow evening in the Divine Service. Selected verses from Psalm 89 and Psalm 119. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, O Lord, and shall not be put to shame. I will sing of the steadfast love of the Lord forever. With my mouth, I will make known your faithfulness to all generations. Let the heavens praise your wonders, O Lord, your faithfulness in the assembly of the holy ones. Blessed are the people who know the festal shout, who walk, O Lord, in the light of your face, who exalt in your name all the day and in your righteousness are exalted. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, O Lord, and shall not be put to shame. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. That antiphon, the beginning and the end from Psalm 119, amazing words, amazing words that are a part of the confession, the preface of the Augsburg Confession. They are part of the preface, the confession at the beginning of the Book of Concord. And they bracket our intro it for today. I will speak of your testimonies before kings, O Lord, and shall not be put to shame. Simon and Jude, apostles of our Lord. We know very, very little about them except the Lord called them. And as they were witnesses of the resurrection, God sent them forth to proclaim the testimonies of our Lord. We don't know any historical facts, but we do know that they were more than likely, according to tradition, martyred for their testimony. We know little about them. In fact, Jude is often referred to as Jude the Obscure. It's just like most of us, isn't it? In the eyes of the world, not important. In the eyes of the world, obscure. There will more than likely never be an episode of lifestyle of the rich and famous devoted to your life or mine. That's the way it is for most Christians. We live our lives, we live our vocations, we work, we pay our bills, we raise our families, we hear the Word of God, we believe the Word of God, we pass that Word of God on to our children, and then, when God calls, we go home. We go home to be to the mansion prepared for us since the beginning of time. My friends, that may seem like an obscure life to the world, but it is the greatest gift that God can give. The forgiveness of sins, everlasting salvation, eternal life. Now with Jesus, even as we live in this sinful yet obscure world, but the promise, the guarantee, guaranteed by the holy precious blood of Jesus, the guarantee of life everlasting with him. And not only that, but a grand reunion in heaven with all of our family and friends, all who have died in the faith. That's what we look forward to. And so now, as we live our lives, we make the good confession. We make the good confession by hearing the word of God. We make the good confession by receiving the gifts of God. We make the good confession by being faithful in whatever vocation the Lord has given us. Husband, wife, son, daughter, worker, neighbor, 
church member. All these various hats are opportunities for us to make the good confession. That God is who He says He is, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That He has grace and mercy on sinners like you and me. That Jesus has come and brings pleasure eternal, forgiveness, life, and salvation. Moved by the gospel, empowered by the gospel, compelled by the gospel, I will speak of your testimony even before kings, O Lord, and will not be put to shame. My friends, our Lord Jesus Christ hung naked on Calvary's cross, bleeding and dying as he bore the sins of the world. But this was not to his shame. This was to his glory and for our glory. My friends, Jesus died and rose for you. How can we not speak his word, his testimonies before the whole world? May God grant us that courage and that conviction today and always. Let us pray. Almighty God, you chose your servants, Simon and Jude, to be numbered among the glorious company of the apostles as they were faithful and zealous in their mission. So may we, with ardent devotion, make known the love and mercy of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. God's richest blessings in Christ. Amen.